We entrepreneurs are oftentimes very skilled and we know how to do a ton of different stuff in our business and it's absolutely killing us. Believe it or not, knowing how to do a ton of stuff can actually hold you back from being successful. If you were to be a surgeon participating in surgery, you tell me how much or how little you would participate in. Check out my screen. So right here, this is the process of surgery. I'm not a surgeon, so maybe there's more to it, more steps and whatnot, but just roll with me on this example. At some point, we need the patient to sign documents, including consent forms and waivers, et cetera, et cetera. Does the surgeon, could the surgeon do that? Yes. Do they do it? Absolutely not. It's not appropriate. Then there's pre-surgery care, making sure that the, that the patient knows about fasting and what exercises they should avoid and hydration and whatnot. And could the surgeon do all of that with the client? Absolutely yes. Should they do it? Absolutely no, it's not appropriate. Then the room also needs to be prepped prior to surgery. We need to make sure that the right tools are there. We need to make sure that the right gurney is there, the right lighting, that all the machines are working. Could the surgeon do that? Probably yes. Should they do it? Absolutely not, it's not appropriate. What about gathering supplies like medication? or extra gauze and bandages, or grabbing the patient's kind of blood in case there's some kind of an emergency to have it on hand. Is that running around the hospital that the surgeon could do? Absolutely yes. Should they do it? Absolutely no, it's just not appropriate. What about prepping the patient the morning of surgery? Making sure that they're in the gown with the funny little opening at the back and the little head cap and making sure that the proper limb is indicated so we don't amputate the wrong leg or whatever. I mean, all that preparatory work, could the surgeon do that? Absolutely yes. Should they do it? Absolutely no, it's not appropriate. Now, we get down to the actual surgery itself. Who in the room has the skills and training and experience, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to execute surgery? Only the surgeon. Could the surgeon do that? Absolutely yes. Should they do it? Absolutely yes. It's appropriate for them to be doing it. Then the surgery is over and now we need to clean the room because inevitably there's some stuff that ends up on the floor, possibly some fluid of some kind, including blood. And could the surgeon do that? Absolutely yes. Should they do it? Absolutely no. It's just not appropriate. And what about recovery? When the patient is sitting in a hotel recovery, a hotel, hospital recovery room, and is being visited every hour by a nurse to make sure that they're okay and all that extra work. Could the surgeon do that? Absolutely yes. Should they do it? Absolutely no. It's just not appropriate. How much time are you spending on a day-to-day -day basis with surgery level skills doing inappropriate work? This is the reality that so many entrepreneurs face. And because nobody until today, possibly in this video, because nobody has come along and told you, what are you doing? Unfortunately, we oftentimes say, well, if it's to be, it's up to me. I'm going to go and make it happen. I'm going to show you a, a surgeon approach to a everyday business activity. So uh, on, uh, to some degree, I'm sure you travel, um, whether it's for seminars or conferences or workshops or masterminds or, or whatnot. I'm sure you have some travel. I travel a ton uh, to consult with clients um, uh, when I've shot videos for Forbes and whatnot, um, when I've appeared for different panels and whatnot. And uh, a, a while ago now, I've, I realized that when it comes to travel planning, there's a lot happening in the surgery, but I needed to be just the surgeon. So check this out. I've got a real live example from my own business. My assistant, Sarah, is the one in Evernote, who will create a one-page itinerary for every trip that I take. So Sarah has found out, okay, here's the event. I'm going to Park City. I'm going to speak at this event from this day to this day. The accommodations I'm staying at are here. Sarah always puts that at the very, very top because sometimes border officials, when I cross over from Canada, which is where I'm from, into the United States, they always want to know, you know, what's your destination in case we need to hunt you down. So Sarah puts it at the very top. So if I'm in a panic and I'm trying to talk to a U.S. official uh, and I'm rushing to a flight or something, it's at the very top of the note. We're ready to rock. Then from there, each day, she's listed the day, 
the theme and the temperature and precipitation if it applies. This was an entirely indoor event, so that didn't particularly apply, temperature and precipitation. And that way, when I'm opening up the Evernote note, getting ready to pack, I can just say, okay, what's the, like, how many days am I there? What's the theme for that day? Okay, I gotta pick up groceries and basically just prepare. I'm speaking at the event. And then from there, if there's any outdoor involvement at all, uh, especially if it's cold, if I'm going to New York in the winter or if it's up here in Canada in the winter, I know how to pack accordingly. So this is the overall kind of like things to pack section of the note. Then we get into the flight info where as in the weeks leading up to this particular trip, Sarah's asking me questions like, are you checking a bag? So she has this handy for herself, yes or no. Um, she's also put in my confirmation. In this case, it was a Southwest flight. That's great. Um, then from there, as the flight information comes through, whether it's her booking it or whether it's assigned to us by the conference organizer or whatnot, Sarah is taking a screenshot of the boarding pass and just pasting it right here into Evernote. So over time, she's building this Evernote note. And you can see day by day by day, everything that I need is right here. And so then when I land, I know here's my car rental, which she's also taking care of and all the information is here. Then this is the Airbnb I stayed at with the parking, the front door code, the Wi-Fi information, some information I need to know about trash. Then on Sunday, groceries, I need to go uh, get them from Whole Foods in Park City. Unfortunately, it's one of the cities where they didn't have delivery. Sarah normally actually has them delivered right to my door, which is great, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you can see that Along the way, what do I have to do? All I need to do is the night before a trip, open up Evernote to the appropriate note, and I see in that one single note what I need to pack. And that single Evernote note is all I need to worry about for the duration of that trip. Then when it's time for me to arrive at the airport and check in, I just open the same note, I show the boarding pass, and off we go. Then when I land in the city, in the same Evernote, I just, grab the rental information for the car and off I go. Then I am you know, in my destination city and the address of the Airbnb is already there with the door code to punch in. And then I get inside and the information is all in the same Evernote and all I need to do is punch that Wi-Fi in and I'm good to go. So you can see that all of the tools that I need to execute right here, I'll change the color, all the tools I need to execute right here to do my part as the surgeon in this process are prepared. She's already prepared everything prior to my arrival so that here I'm not fumbling around looking for my proverbial scalpel or any kind of medication. It's just all sitting on the tray ready for me to just pick up and work, pick up and work, pick up and work. And, and even if you're not a consultant, even if you're not a speaker, maybe you've got like an e-commerce store or a marketing agency or whatnot, I hope you can see that this one simple example I'm showing you how, yes, I know how to make car reservations and book flights and accommodations and find Wi-Fi passwords. But I mean, entrepreneurship, we oftentimes die death by a thousand paper cuts, five minutes here, 10 minutes there, you know, losing a little bit of energy, getting frustrated because I can't find my Wi-Fi password for this. Or what was the address again of where I'm going and where are my groceries and on and on and on. Like all of that counts and it adds up extremely quickly to being a ton of wasted time, energy, and effort. Instead, by thinking myself as a surgeon and giving Sarah guidance to say, here's what I'd like to see, and her also giving me feedback and together us being a great team, working towards this great system that we've got going for every single trip, together we get to a place where, you know, she's taking over more and more and more and more and more, and, you know, we're constantly improving all the time, and now I get to focus just on surgery. So this is a big part of a concept um, Perry Marshall talks about climbing the 80-20 curve. Surgery is in here. This is where the biggest impact of time, energy, and money, the biggest return on investment that I can get is here. And it's my job to get everything else off my plate and onto my assistant's plate or my team's plate, including possibly salespeople, you know, or project managers or sourcing agents or whatever to get them in place so they can go and do this for me. This kind of thinking and, and learning how to do this is the reason that we're putting on the 80-20 summit this year is to help you to climb this 80-20 curve in your business. Check out, ch check out the page. So what you see right here, this is the 80-20 summit. 
Um, the URL is right up here. You can see it's the8020summit.com. There's four themes this year. The themes are keep more profit, build structure, hire the right team, and make your business run with less of your time. If you're looking for the details, you can scroll through. There's a whole bunch of information here. And if you'd like to know about tickets and availability and whatnot, we've got all that information right here. Uh, we do have details as far as dates. So it's October 4th and 5th happening in uh, San Diego at the US Grant Hotel. Uh, tickets will be $3,000 regular price. Right now they're on early bird for $24.99 and that price will hold for another eight days as of the time of this video being shot. By the time you watch this, it'll probably be down to seven days, six days, five days. So take advantage of that if you're interested in coming. And uh, I mentioned his name before is Perry Marshall. So I'll be teaching and Perry Marshall will be teaching and we'll be going back and forth for two straight days. Uh, if you don't know him, Perry is the renowned, uh, world-respected, um, uh, author and consultant on the topic of sales and marketing. He wrote the book, 80-20 Sales and Marketing, uh, which has rapidly become one of the go-to books in the world of entrepreneurship, marketing, and uh, internet marketing as well. Um, he'll be sharing a ton about uh, the 80-20 of sales and marketing. I'll be sharing a ton on the 80-20 of sales operation, um, uh, knowing your numbers, and a lot of that kind of backstage type stuff. Together, we're going to present quite a powerful event. Perry's also going to share, in his opinion, why the world is going more and more and more from 80-20 to being 95-5. And, and his perspective on what you can do to make sure you're part of the 5% that captures 95% of the rewards, rather than being part of the 95% that captures only 5% of the rewards. I encourage you to come to the event this is one of, going to be one of the most important, impactful, influential events in the year. Um, we did this event, Perry and I, together last year. The, the feedback we got was absolutely extraordinary. We're taking all the best parts of last year, condensing it, and upgrading and updating uh, the 2017 information so it's ready to rock for, two th you know, for the coming 12 months. Come check out the8020summit.com. Uh, you are worth being the surgeon in your company rather than running around doing all the parts of surgery. I believe you can do it. The skills and tools are learnable. Sometimes you just need someone to come and show us the path. Looking forward to seeing you in San Diego. This is Tim Francis from Profit Factory. Thanks for watching this video.